Look at this hat. <laughs> 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 you look at that. Ooh, it's glory to God. <laughs> What's good, everybody? What's good? I, I want to welcome each and every one of you all back to another episode of Tribe Talk Podcast with your boy Aaron and AJ. And y'all, we are back here with another video. Y'all look at this hat. <laughs> <laughs> you look at that. Ooh, <laughs> glory to God. <laughs> But we're back with another video. We are back with another video. First and foremost, y'all mm-hmm. already know, if you have not already liked, shared, and subscribed to the Tribe of Adam Productions or in the Tribe of Adam on YouTube, mm-hmm. make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to do it. the Tribe of Adam so that Please you can be a part of the family and be aware when we post new content. Yes. And you be a part of everything that we have to yes. offer from vlogs, from cooking videos, hey, to yes, 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 uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> to my- <laughs> To mukbangs and podcasts. So, like I said, make sure y'all be aware and stay tuned for everything that we have to offer. Yeah. But why are we here today, y'all? T- ooh, today, <laughs> somebody said today. You can tell yeah. by what we're wearing. By what, yeah, let me say by what we're wearing. Y'all already know we're about to talk about my favorite place yes. in the whole wild yes. world, yes. which yes. is uh, Disney World, Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland. Y'all, y'all already know Disney World is literally my favorite place mm-hmm. in the entire world. It, it really it's a is. it's a great place to go with. Um, husband and wives with families with I mean it's just a great place to go. Like I said, like I told y'all before, if you all looked at my last vlog, y'all saw me and he old, had an option to go anywhere in the world, and he chose Disney World. And, and let me tell you something, exactly. <laughs> I, and I did for for my birthday, but y'all know it's a special place that Disney holds in my heart. <laughs> and uh, I went with my girlfriend, and we had a great time. We, time. It was a great time. Um, but let's get let's get into let's the nitty gritty. So this this uh, vlog is going to be about first timers. What do you do to prepare? To go to Disney, so and I know, and I, mm-hmm. I, I with, with what you're saying, you said what mm-hmm. to do when you prepare to go to Disney. We say that because we notice a lot of people are going to Disney and, and you when, waste and your time. You waste your time, and you talk to so them. so many people are under under the the preconceived notion that oh, we can just go to Disney World and we'll have an amazing time. No, no. If you do not know what you're doing, you're or not know, have a good already time. have a plan going in. You are not going. Think about it. It's already hundreds of thousands of other people exactly. there, so stuff is going to be flat out, you know. Jammed already. So uh, along with the crowds and stuff, and this is getting to our, our, our this is getting to our message. For <laughs> <this>. <laughs> get to the text. <laughs> get to the text. But this is why it's so important for videos like this to come about to show families and stuff, especially if it's your first time or you haven't been in twenty years, because it's a different park than what it was twenty exactly, years ago. Exactly, because always this is showing you since we we've, we've been at at least right. at least. Seven to ten times exactly. in the last like five years. I, I I know I've been more than that. Yeah, probably I, more I, than probably that. more than that. But but I, but let me. I'm gonna say this, and we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. Mm-hmm. We this video is so vital and so important because I've noticed a lot of people hit me up in my DMs mm-hmm. and different mm-hmm. family members yes. that we have. Yes, they come to me and they ask me or they tell me, "Yeah, we about to go to Disney World," you know. And I'm like, oh, "Okay, you know." And they'll be like, "You know, that's it." They don't ask like, "Well, mm-hmm. well, how do we do this? What mm-hmm. do we do?" They what just do we, go. Do we expect? And then yeah. when they come back, they they look at me and be like, mm-hmm. "I don't know why y'all right go to right Disney up. so much." Exactly. And I'm like, "What do you mean?" They be like. It ain't all that. The yeah, lines be too long. Enjoy. It be high. Nothing. Yep. Exactly. So, and because you, you, you went without knowing what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the, it, it, the Disney World's a dance. <laughs> you got you. We got it. Disney World's an art. It is. It is. You got, and I, I said, it, but it's, you have to know what you're, isn't you. You have to know what you have to do your research. You have to you have to study the text. Yeah, exactly. You, you got to study, study to show you have to show that self approval. <laughs> you got to extradite the text. You just can't show up like like Bush Gardens. You can just show up, and have a good yeah, time. Six yeah. Flags, show up, and have a good time. Yeah. All the other thing parts, you can just show up, and have a good time. Disney World, you have people from all around, all the over the world. country, all, all over the world. All the world going. Exactly. So you can't just show up and think, oh yeah, we can wing this. No, we that's not how it works. No. So let let's so let's so let's let like like Silla Patrilla the golden girls picture it picture <laughs> it <laughs> you didn't bought your tickets to disney world yes you told the kids yes. we're going to disney world yes how to navigate how disney. to navigate disney as a, oh, so not, only, not. not only how to navigate disney but yeah. how to navigate your way to disney and how to and navigate to disney. disney so <laughs> go ahead and ask me some <laughs> questions like, right. look, ask me some questions right, so first starting out <laughs> How do you get your tickets? Like, should you should you wait till you get to the parks to get your tickets, or should you get them beforehand? Now, and I, 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 that's a good question because I've actually done both. Mm-hmm. I've waited till I got to the park and mm-hmm. just bought them day by day. Mm-hmm. 
or and I I bought them in advance. Now I would say if you're going with a group of people, mm-hmm. buy them in advance because you save money when you buy them buy them in advance. Uh-huh. And because you them, especially if you're going for more than exactly, one day. Exactly. If you're going to more than one day and more than one park, um well I'm not I am not gonna get into going to more than one park yeah, a yeah, day. Yeah. We will talk about that. Mm-hmm. But let's say you're going to more than one day per day. Mm-hmm. Um I would say buy your tickets in advance. If you're going with a group of people, mm-hmm. because you can, when you do that, you can consider discounts. Like if you're in the military, mm-hmm. and they will give you those discounts at the counter. But it's just better to already know what you're working with exactly. before you even. So, exactly. and I and I also it's better to 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 know what you're gonna have to pay, so you can already knock that out the way and mm-hmm. worry about other things. Because when you get to Florida, you're gonna yeah. is, you, exactly like merchandise. Mer- so if food you, and merchandise alone will run you a couple thousand. <laughs> AJ, <laughs> it'll we're laughing, but it'll run you. AJ, yeah, I know. Yes, I just spent a couple thousands in this. <laughs> I just spent a couple <laughs> G's in this. <laughs> so, so that alone, so it's best to already know what mm-hmm. you're gonna pay up front, mm-hmm. get it out the way, so therefore mm-hmm. you can save up for your merchandise, yeah. your foods. Don't be, don't go to Disney and be one of those people that. Now, if you are, it's cool. But it's in order to encompass Disney and to really enjoy all of what Disney has to offer and then get that feeling of <laughs> I'm Disney. Sorry, I keep looking at his <laughs> Woo! <laughs> all right, keep going, keep going. <laughs> we ain't gonna get through this video. <laughs> this hat is killing me. But in order to in order to really enjoy all of Disney. You you want to eat the food. You have those families that do pack lunches. That's cool to save money. Pack little snacks. Especially if you have little kids. Now, I employ mm-hmm. you and I tell you. Pack snacks for the kids. Pack. Make sure you pack waters and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. However, don't cheat yourself out of the experience of trying the new treats that Disney have to offer. Right. Because they have so... They have a plethora of right. good treats. Oh, and they're affordable. I, I mean, like, it's... That you wanna you wanna it's try that you're, you're gonna wanna try you wanna like, try oh, one of the best things especially yeah. the, when you when you get to different parks and they have like the different festivals going exactly. on they have stuff from all around the world exactly. it actually tastes like that and it actually tastes good you're gonna, it's not like foreign yeah. stuff like yes. I don't want that yes. it's actually yes. stuff that tastes good yes. yes so back to the tickets mm-hmm. buy them in advance and, and you're going with a group if you're going with a group and and therefore and you, you know you're gonna be there for at least a couple like at least two to three days you know you're gonna be in the parks buy them in advance yes and like I said you could consider all of the different. Um, uh, discount options. Mm-hmm. Whether if you have AAA, they give out Disney discounts. Mm-hmm. If you're a law enforcement officer slash military, yeah. uh, this this uh, um, website called GovX. Of course, you got to make an account mm-hmm. to show that you are a law enforcement or military personnel. If you have those credentials, you should know. It's right. The top secret. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> but GovX and ID Me, yeah. they offer uh, Disney discounts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, there, there's some other yeah, there are other ones out that there. Offer discounts. Right. So just do your research and you'll figure. Right. Do your so research. Moving on, we got a lot of t- right. a lot to cover. Um, what's the Best time of the year to go. So now we done, we done been on every time, every, time throughout year. every season of the year. Yep. So what's in, in your opinion? What's the best? Time in my go? opinion, I'll say, and I'm pretty sure you can vouch for this. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, the best time to go to Disney is from Jane because I just went in January. Mm-hmm. So from January, right after the rush hour of December, mm-hmm. so January, February, March, the beginning part of April, mm-hmm. then the ending part Let's of April, everything from from May, April, June. June July August. and August. No go. Don't go. <laughs> no go. Don't go. We've no been. Go. It's packed. It's hot. It's hot. Don't, no go. Let, you will let, not have a good time. It's no go. Let me tell y'all something. I ain't never been to. I ain't never been to hell. <laughs> but it's hot. Don't plan on going. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I ain't never been it, and I don't plan on going. But it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so after after August, so after August, mm-hmm. what is, what come at the August? <laughs> well, September, yeah, mm-hmm. August, uh, no, September, mm-hmm. October, and October is a great time to go too. Because October is one of the, the Halloween party. Go. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween uh-huh. party is back, yes. and it's fun to go. So yes. that's they good. Give you treats after hours. exactly, and that's see that is so much to talk it's about. So much to talk they about. Give you treats and it's free treats. Of course, it's a yeah. it's a it's that a means ticket. you can, you can keep going up to the same lady with yep. the same basket. You just go keep yep. giving you the same keep giving the same Careful. treats and all that stuff. They, those, and those treats are Mickey premium bars, Mickey ice creams, um, uh, fruit bars, and popcorn, popcorn, Hershey's Kiss. Uh-huh. I'm talking about actual actual bars. candies, right? And then uh, the out sodas and stuff, yeah, like nice sodas and yeah. stuff. But um, so when you November, go, <clears throat> and you not, do not unless you just want to unless you just want to see how it is for Christmas, right? I don't advise don't you to go for Christmas. Don't go because that's one of the most. Like the most crowded parts of, don't the go. Times of the year. Don't go Do, there. Unless you just want to see how it is, like 
if you go for Christmas, because we've been on Christmas. Yeah, we went on Christmas Day. It was shut, Christmas Day. The was shut down. It was to the part. It was, it was to the point where we we had just got into Magic Kingdom. As soon as we got off the monorail, they closed the park down. Yep. Everybody who had tickets that were trying to get in, they couldn't get in because it was so many people that yep. they had to shut the park down. Yep. So we just luckily made it into the yep. park before they closed the monorails yep. down and said that there no more people could enter the park. And let's face it, it's just not fun. It's not. The, so the lines you know how bad I paid them if I paid, them, if I paid that amount and yeah. be there on Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun. So those dates, uh, what we say, uh, November, December. from January to April, then from the end of the end of August to November. Yeah, those yeah, are those are the, those are prime time to times to go. Mm-hmm. Skip Christmas time, mm-hmm. and then you know so on and so forth. So those are the best time to go. And then mm-hmm. as far as the weather with Florida, you kind of got to play it by ear because mm-hmm. this year I remember when we went. Christmas time, it was hot, it was burning. Mm-hmm. But when I went just a couple of weeks ago in January, it was freezing mm-hmm. to the point where I needed like a sweater. It was yeah. freezing. Wow. So with Florida, you just kind of got to play it by ear with the weather as well. And some days were actually nice too. Mm-hmm. All the days weren't cold. Some days were. And nice. I'm sure the Floridians who watch this, they can they can they vouch for the for rain. It. Yeah. So oh, when it rains, it, it normally rains for like what, like five, 10 like minutes, five, ten five. minutes. And it'll rain like 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 it's about to pour down, like, like about the monsoon. You know, like exactly. And then it'll it'll go, it'll away. go away. And that's normally in the summertime when mm-hmm. that happens, because mm-hmm. it didn't rain out one day when me and Jada was there. It didn't, the it didn't rain out one day. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so after yeah. okay, you 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 discuss the best times of the year to go. Yeah, we talk about ticket. We What's talk about the tickets. best places to stay? Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> so normally when we go. Being that our parents had a timeshare, mm-hmm. we stayed at like surrounding resorts that's close to it, like the Sheraton Vistano Resorts and uh, the Marriott Grand Vista Resort. Marriott is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look up those those different there. places, Marriott those resorts. Resort. You will not regret it. It's it's to the point where you can enjoy and being in Florida just by going to the resorts and not even have to go to the parks. Like it's it's, it's been some times where it's like ah, I don't want to go to the parks today. We enjoyed the resorts and but that's getting off topic. But yeah, um, so if they don't have enough, like because you have to kind of price out for those resorts. If you know, of course, if you have a timeshare, you can work that out with your timeshare. But outside of that, um, there are hotels that give you kind of that resort kind of feel right. just do your research to kind of figure it out i know uh, me and mel the first year that we got married when we went we stayed at a hotel and it actually kind of you know outside of being as big as a resort right. it did kind of feel it give you it gave you that resort feel the people you know it, it wasn't like a normal uh, hotel where you just got staffed everybody was disney themed they wanted to show you around they had the, the buses that would take you around to the parks and all that it, it, it felt like you were in a resort so you know it then it's cheaper than actually being at a resort so you can do that and then you have Disney resorts would be the, the prime the, the the prime rib or the prime <laughs> steak. <laughs> There's the crim de crop, the crim de crim. Literally. So, and my favorite ones are of course the Contemporary Resort, which mm-hmm. is the Magic Kingdom area. Mm-hmm. And you can literally take. The I don't even there. think I've seen those. Um, AJ, we've been inside. That's where Chef Mickey is. I've been in there maybe <laughs> once or twice. I can't even <laughs> remember. The one, the oh, the one that had the monorail to go yeah. through. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they have Bay Lake Towers. Now all these are they, 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 <laughs> they cost us some money. Some money. But you have Bay Lake Towers. You have the Grand Floridian. Grand Floridian is like the most expensive. Mm, mm-hmm. You have Fort Wilderness over there in the Animal Kingdom. You mm-hmm. have um, Pop Century, which is very nice. You have Art of Animations, which is very nice. Like, that, that <laughs> if nice. you got the money, check those out. The Art, of, Art of Animations reminds... Uh, now, those are Art of Animations and Pop Century. Those are the value resorts. Mm-hmm. Um, those are like more... They're still nice, but they're mm-hmm. not as expensive as the Grand Floridians and the uh, um, Bay Lake Towers. Mm-hmm. But they still give you, down, in my opinion, Art of Animations and Pop Century give you the nostalgic mm-hmm. Disney feeling. Mm-hmm. But there are a plethora. We, I don't want to get into because I can talk about just the results alone. <laughs> the results alone. alone will get you into that Disney feeling because it, it just it, 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 it embodies Disney. Right. Okay, let's skip ahead. So um, after you. You know, got where you're going to stay. You got your flights. You, you're on your way to Disney to enjoy yourself. You got into where you're going to stay. Um, we suggest um, you, you take whatever day you fly in to kind of chill. Yeah. Don't really go to the parks because you, you'll be tired. You don't you, you want to when, when you go to the parks, you want to get your money's worth. So you want to take you want to have all your energy. Exactly. So after you did that, it's the day of the parks. You're getting in the vehicles to go to the park or you're taking the buses or whatever. However, you get into the parks. How do you if if you're driving to the parks with a vehicle that you rented? How do you handle parking? So park. That's one of the big things that people. And I'm gonna hurt you say this. This is mm-hmm. one of the big things that people. 
forget about when you get to Disney. You, yes, you have to pay for parking, mm -hmm. and I believe parking. And every day. Every day. <laughs> I believe Disney parking. Let me look it up real quick. I believe it's twenty five dollars, but I don't want to give y'all misinformation. I believe it's twenty five dollars mm -hmm. uh, for general. And discuss what general while you're looking it up. What's what's general parking, and then they have preferred parking, right? Right. So basically, general parking is you parking in the back. Basically, okay. So here we go. So per y'all <laughs> have your money. So general parking alone. Now this, these prices ro ro rose up. Ro mm -hmm. They they skyrocketed. General parking per day is forty five dollars. Sheesh! Really? But if you want preferred parking, it's $50. Oh, well, that's... Didn't it used to be $50 for preferred? No, it was 45 for preferred. It used to be 45 no, I want to say it was 25 I want to say... Hmm. For per... No, for... Okay, so so looking at this, it says preferred park is 45 per day during the non-peak season and then 50 per day during peak season. And then standard parking is 25 um, non -peak. per day. And it'll, it'll oh, say well, all, just all together. All together. Okay. It's, so, so, so that's why preferred, I said it has to go during non-peak season. Right. So just so y'all can get an understanding, preferred is 45 minutes. I mean, 45 minutes. $45. $45. $45. And then the regular parking is $25. And that add up. If you're going to Disney World five days a week, 25 just, times And five, that's just parking. That's just parking that's just alone. Parking. So no food, no no merchandise, just parking. Right. And then and that's parking way off. Y'all know those parking lots exactly. are huge. Exactly. And then you if you want to park up. General, you're going to have to take a, 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 tram. a tram to get to the front of the park. Yeah, to get to the Unless you want to walk. So you got kids and all that and strollers, you're not going to You don't want to take the tram. And you got to wait for the trams. And after the night's over with, you don't feel like waiting those long lines. You're going to you're gonna be waiting. So let's say the park closes at what? 9, 10 o'clock at night? If you if If you... Take the time to spend all that time in the park, and you're trying to come home. We're skipping ahead, but you try to come home, and you're you know you parked in general. You have to take the tram. You're gonna be waiting another hour at least, at least, uh, especially at Magic Kingdom after the fireworks show to your car if you park you know in the general or whatever, and if you're not trying to walk that long way. So that's something to think about, you right? Know, to prepare. All right, parking. Okay, um, we talked about um, what's the best days to go. Well, to but hold on. We didn't, well, yeah. So, so the solution to that, if you don't want to pay that, the twenty five dollars mm -hmm. for regular parking, the general parking, or the forty five for getting a closer up spot. Mm -hmm. Therefore, all you do is walk into the park. You can also park, and I learned this from one of my favorite vloggers, Tim Tracker. <laughs> you can also park at Disney Springs. Park in the lot of uh, the orange garage. Wasn't, wasn't it orange garage? Park in the orange garage, mm -hmm. and from there take the buses over to really? a resort. In front of the resort, that's a hack. To, it's a it's a hack because the 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 it's free parking yeah, in the in, in the Disney Springs. In Disney yeah. Springs. So you so make sure you park in the orange garage because the orange garage is part is right next to the bus station. So all you gotta do is mm -hmm. park in the orange garage and walk right like a block over to the bus station, and, and the then take the buses take you to, the to park. say if you want to go to Magic Kingdom, take the bus from Disney. Springs Springs to the Contemporary Resort, and in front of Contemporary Resort, take the monorail over to Magic Kingdom, wow. and you're already in the park. Wow. Boom, shaka laka, <laughs> <I'll> do it. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll work. So um, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. And you can do it with all the parks. You yep. can literally do it. You wow. can take the Skyliner, like from what we do, the Yacht and Beach Club. We took the bus from Disney Springs to the Yacht and Beach Club, and from the mm -hmm. Yacht and Beach Club, we took the Skyliner over to Epcot. And we was at Epcot. Boom, shaka laka. God is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that's a little so, hack. Right. That's that's a that's a hack. Um, what else? What else is there? Um, I think what we're gonna do is save the actual what to do in the park. Yeah, for another yeah, video. Let me tell you something. I could talk. We, could, we could talk about right. everything to do and how to enjoy. It. That's gonna be a part two. Yeah, it's got to be a part, part two. Because like I said, we I've been seeing a lot of people. People that we know personally mm -hmm. have been going to Disney yeah. World and just exploring Disney. And then when, when I asked them, like, how was Disney? They were like, oh, it wasn't all that. And I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all, Disney World is worth every penny. Yes. You just have to do your due diligence and know what to do, know how to save your money, and know how to spend your money wisely when you go and know what to so try. So let's talk, let's talk about this. Um, I know we got a little bit of time. Um, when you're going to the parks... What can you bring and what can't you bring? Like as far as like what should you be prepared for as when you go through the security checks? Because you there are there are security checks before you get to the parks, and I right. think actually before you get to the monorails to, or the trams to get into the actual park. No, right? the, so it's the only okay. It, it, oh, the, it's it, it, the park. Yeah, it's actually in the parks. That's yeah. where they move the okay. um the the, the little security yeah checks, the security yeah. checks at. So uh, it's like right before you get in the park. Mm -hmm. Um, 
may, basically, of course, no knives, guns, all yeah, that, no, all that things, normal yeah. stuff. But you just want to make sure you don't have like selfie sticks. Uh, I don't think mm-hmm. people still use selfie sticks anymore. I don't know. Selfie they sticks, know, like them gimbal things. yeah, bat scratchers, anything that can yeah. stretch. Yeah. Um. Basically, anything like that. You can bring food in. You can bring and they don't drinks do they water. check your bags if you have like bags of strollers? Do they? They do, the, they do check strollers. Mm-hmm. Uh, only if they, they do check strollers too. But even if you go through the thing, they still got to check stro- strollers. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. But um, they have like these new metal detectors, like two bars on each side, and you just walk through it. And if the bar, if the little reader goes off, mm-hmm. then they'll go through your bag. But if it doesn't go off, then you just freely walk on in the park. Mm-hmm. So it saves time for them, like they the old way, mm-hmm. going through everybody's bag and holding up long lines and stuff like that. So the only time they'll check you is if when you walk through that little thing and mm-hmm. it goes off, mm-hmm. then they'll do like a quick check on okay. you and make sure yeah. you don't got everything. Okay, I got real quick. This will be our last topic. I I, I just thought of a good one. Um, so. We're not going to talk about actually what you should do in the parks, but uh, that's, a whole, like, that's a whole that's a whole other video. We will do that. Yeah, each park for Disney, we're going to talk about the each park, what, you, yeah. what to do, how to you know wait for the lines, what you should be looking out for. We'll talk about all that, right? Um, especially from our experience. And of course, you got you know professional Disney vloggers out there, right? But this is coming from a family who actually will give you the real detail, right. Of what you know, what's good, what's what good, the food, what's that's good, eat, all that. Yep. So real quick. Planning, you know, we talked about planning your day. When you get to the parks, how should you handle if you want to take breaks or if you want to That's leave the park one. or if you want to stay all day? How right. do you handle that? I will say if you're going with the family. Now, if you have little kids that just have to go home, I will say then then if you realize that you spent so much money. Mm-hmm. But if you want to go home, go home. You're going to do what you want to do anyway. <laughs> but and the thing about going home is. More than more, nine times out of you're ten, you're not coming back. You're not going to come not back, going or back. if you do come back, it's going to be so late to where by the time you get through all the, right. the driving, the parking, getting there, is you're going to only have right. like an hour left. Right. So if you leave the park prematurely, just and realize what, what you're, you're doing. doing. Right. And there, but there are options right. for you know if you want to take breaks right. in the park right. or you know somewhere around. Right. So let's talk. So about say that. for yeah. instance at. And uh, let's use Hollywood Studios. Mm-hmm. You want to take a break. You're tired. You know you've been you since in 8 a.m. in the right. opening time. And first of all, I would tell you, don't go. You would not waste your money if you wait to go to the parks around like 1130 ish. Okay. Because you still got until like 11 that night when the park okay. closes. Now, sometimes they Disney vary with the hours. Sometimes they, the park closes at nine. Sometimes yeah, they close at 11. They have events or something right. like that. But most of the time it closes at 11. So if you, I would say don't go early in the morning. Mm-hmm. Wait to go around like 1130 ish. And then stay all day so all you can day. catch the okay. nighttime spectaculars right, and the right, fireworks right. and all that good stuff. But if when you're there and you you know, okay, we, I spent so much money, I don't want to go home. You can always, for those of you that pack lunches, and when y'all go, like mm-hmm. a lot of know a lot of people mm-hmm. pack lunches. Mm-hmm. You can always go into in Hollywood Studios, and and they have different restaurants per park that you can go into, and it's like a family style restaurant. And, and you said pack lunches, and not to cut you off. Right. It, and, unless you balling and shot calling and got <laughs> and got guac I'm on a stop exactly unless you got the money like that I suggest packing lunch right. for stuff because the prices yeah it unless, is high. unless you're like you, if, wanna, you say specifically you say for food specifically which for I food, do look up do your research and see how much stuff costs because stuff costs and it do it costs I suggest like packing lunches especially right. like it, maybe you could do like one one time a day to yeah. go to a restaurant actually yeah, yeah. or if it's a little like side stands and stuff you want to try yeah. like that you could do that yeah but definitely pack stuff before you go in right but yeah continue but um what was i saying oh mm-hmm. uh they they have different style of uh restaurants that you can go into mm-hmm. and it's like a family style restaurant mm-hmm. where you don't have to get a reservation for you can just it's like a cafeteria like a setup cafeteria. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and you could go in and find you a nice comfortable place to sit mm-hmm. and you can and sit there for all, as long as you yeah. want so i would say do that as or, opposed to leave yeah, as opposed to leave it and just sit there as long as you want because it got it's AC mm-hmm. and it's comfortable seating and you can mm-hmm. sit there if you want to lay down. I seen people sleep inside these yeah, restaurants. Yeah. They'll like get all your little bags, get mm-hmm. get a little corner, and they'll sleep and inside of these up, restaurants. Yeah. Or I would say if you still want to enjoy, like get feel like you're enjoying something, I would say like I said in Hollywood Studios, you can go to the Ariel Show, the Little Mermaid Show. Go sit. These shows are like even thirty in, minutes. Even in Magic Kingdom, what's that show that we like um, watching? The Carousel of Progress. Yes, that one you could just sit in it and go around. Yep. All, the, whole time. <laughs> the whole time and it got AC it and stuff and there's a show yep, going it's on it's a show going on you can so, sit in there and chill right so I would say find the show an uh, inside attraction that you and there, can go there in and there are ones in each park there are ones in each park yeah. like Hollywood Studios you have the Muppet Muppet Vision 3D mm-hmm. you have um, Little uh, Under the Sea with Little Mermaid and Friends you mm-hmm. got um, let me think of some more you got uh, it's some other yeah, yeah, Pizza Rizzo's yeah, you got yeah, Pizza Rizzo's that's a restaurant Pizza Rizzo's but 
to, to get yeah. y'all to understand, it's so many restaurants as opposed you go to into, leaving, as opposed to just leaving, and because you're not gonna come back, exactly. Not and you back. do not want to waste as, as high as these tickets are. You have to, let's say, if you go a family of four or more, you do not want to, you know, be paying thousands of dollars. No, for a ticket, you don't. And then you don't enjoy yourself and no. spend the whole day there. So no, it, especially if you, if it's your first time, right? Spend the whole day there, enjoy the park, and then right. you know, you'll figure out how to handle stuff while you're right. there. Right. And I, I and, and like I said, I know we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, but to mm-hmm. to, to kind of put an ending on what we're talking about because mm-hmm. we're gonna talk uh, give a part yeah, two we're gonna, to we're this gonna video each and yeah and part. that's it mm-hmm. but in all of this one thing the best advice i give you if i only had of uh, two minutes to, to give you advice as far as disney the best advice i could give a person is plan your trip i'm not saying plan it as in buying your tickets and looking for where to stay no 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 plan i'm saying once you buy your details. tickets once you get your air, your airfare, however you get in there. Once you get your your, your where you stand and all that stuff. Actually, look get oh download the My Disney Experience. Yes, app. Yes, download the app. Download that download app. Download that app. And actually plan and see. Okay, what what's some good restaurants eat at? Because that app will give you if you want to try Disney. YouTube, look, look it up. Look at the reviews. Look yeah. exactly. Look at the best rides to do in Disney. Yep. Look up different vloggers that vlog Disney, such as Tim Tracker. You have uh uh Page and Mr. Morrow. Mm-hmm. You have all these different vloggers out here. Us. Right, exactly. <laughs> you have all these different vloggers out here that actually is, their channel is solely uh dedicated to mm-hmm. Disney, mm-hmm. and if there are ways around the long wait time. Yes, they have Genie yes. Plus. I'm not a fan of Genie Plus because um, I, I just don't like the way it operates. Yeah, yeah, Basically, yeah, yeah. Genie Plus is like for the Fast Pass system. Fast Pass used to be free. Now you right, got to pay for it. Pay for, yeah. And I, I don't really like that. But there are ways around the long wait times. There are different there are different uh, pockets and uh, pockets in time <laughs> to where you can catch when the wait time is only be like a 25 minute wait. Yeah. Or sometimes. Like towards the end of the day, they'll say it's like a fifty minute wait, but when you actually get on the line, it's, it's a walk walk on. through. Yeah. So you just gotta pay attention and know. Overall, plan your trip. Plan it. Do your research. Do your research. And I promise you, you'll enjoy. You you will have a blast from the past. I'll <laughs> 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 Well, I think that'll wrap up this video. <laughs> this has been Tribe Talks with Aaron and AJ. I hope we y'all will enjoy see it. you all. I hope y'all enjoy it. Be, be sure to tune in for part two. Yes, say, in the words of my favorite mouse. Huh? See, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs>